my name is Gareth, and in this video I will be discussing the installation and initial setup of the User Behavior Analytics app, it's also known as UBA. Before installing the UBA app, please check to make sure you have the IBM Sense DSM installed on your system. This can be installed through auto updates or can be installed manually if needed. To check if it is on your system, you can run the yum list command shown. If the file is not returned, then you will need to install it manually. In this slide, you can see the steps needed to perform the installation. After confirming the IBM Sense DSM is installed, we can now continue with the installation of the UBA app. To install the app, use either the Assistant app or Extensions Management. For this video, we will be using Extensions Management. To open the Extensions Management admin page and click Extensions Management from this window, then click Add, and then select the User Behavior Analytics version from your downloads, and click Install immediately. Finally, click Add, and this will begin the upload. When the zip file has been uploaded, it will then begin validating the installation. Next, we make sure we replace the existing items. We then want to make sure that a default instance of each app is started, and finally just install. Once the application is installed, you'll see this screen confirming what's been added to the system. Click OK and then close Extensions Management. Once the installation is completed, to improve the performance of the UBA app, please enable the following indexes in Index Management. These are High Level Category, Low Level Category, Sense Value, Sense Overall Score, and Username. To do this, click on Admin and then Index Management. When the Index Management page opens, you can then start searching for the five indexes that need to be enabled. These are High Level Category. Click search. When this finds it, click enable index. The next one is low level category. Then you can search for this. You may find that it is already enabled. The next one is sense value. Enable that. Next one is sense overall score. Enable. And lastly is username, which you can see is also already enabled. With the others being enabled, we can click save and then confirm that you want to save these changes to the properties. Clicking OK, we'll close the index management window. Now we need to perform a full deploy. So from advanced, deploy full configuration, continue, and then need to wait for this to complete. Once the deployment is completed, we now need to create a full admin authorization token and add it to the UBA app. If you're a QROC customer, please contact support and this will be created and added to the application for you. To create the authorized token, click on Authorized Services. This will open a new window for the Authorized Service Management. Click on Add and then name your new token. Next, select your tenant. Next, the security profile, which will be admin. The user rules, which will be admin. And then stop the token from expiring. And finally, click Save. This will generate the token. You can show the token and also take a copy of the token to the clipboard. You'll need to take a copy of the token to add it to the application. After you've copied the token successfully, click close and click on user analytics. When this loads, you'll be asked to set up the application setting. Click on the link to open the UBA settings. You'll see that it is asking for the authorized service token to be added. Paste the token that was copied before and click save configuration. With the configuration saved, you can close the window and return back to the UBA application. Now the UBA app has been installed and initial configuration completed. Please leave to run for a day before installing the machine learning app. This is important as it will give the UBA time to build its database that will then be used by machine learning. This completes the installation and initial configuration of the UBA app. Thank you.